you are busy serving you are busy covering others you are busy wiping the tears of others it does not mean that there is any problem in your life the reason as to why you still got the strength to do what you do is simply because your faith is still intact your faith is still in place and if you ever know that God has sustained you you don't need to let anything come in between your relationship with God I will preach I say this is not a religion of selling oil and selling those nonsense. This is a ministry of the word of God. So God does not start to operate with me only when I am delivered. Come on church. Even in that horrendous and horrific situation, God is still with you. I say everybody can leave you. Your family members can leave you. The only boy who said I will never leave you can leave you. What are you talking about? The only girl who said I will be there for you. She left. Come on. The only man who said I will always be there with you. The man left. And the only thing you still have intact is that relationship ship with God. Ah, I cannot be delivered like David but God will deliver me my deliverance may not be like Samson but God will deliver me I may not sound like Esther but God will deliver me can I talk to you now Abraham was made rich and the father of nations Caleb for 45 years in poverty but still realize his promise listen to me if God ever gave you a promise I say if God ever gave you a promise it will surely come to pass so in the book of Hebrews God brings all the heroes of faith he says I'm sensing some insecurities in your life so I want you every time you are down you run to the book of Hebrews uh, and read about these champions. <laughs> you all know what David went through. Come on church. <laughs> you all know what Esther went through. <laughs> it says by faith. <laughs> Rahab the, car, the prostitute. <laughs> she made it to heaven. <laughs> so you ain't going to allow anybody dictate how you relate yourself uh, with God. Someone say I am covered. <laughs> say again I'm covered all you need is the attitude adjustment say adjustment touch your neighbor say attitude say attitude because no one is going to give up from the stadium tell your neighbor you can't give up right now you need to adjust your attitude that God is still powerful to do exceedingly abundantly above all any man can think of any man can imagine so understanding all the sides of the spectrum so that when a situation erupts you will not be only limited to your expectation but you will understand that your God is bigger than your expectation I feel something is building in the atmosphere touch your neighbor for me tell your neighbor God is still bigger than your expectation what is your expectation for 2023 God is still bigger than your expectation I know they gave you false promises they gave you false love they gave you false encouragement but even after they have walked out of your life you still have God on your side and every time you lift up your hands say God your son has come to worship you your daughter has come to worship you. God will impress you and say, come on my son. Come on my daughter. Come on my daughter. Did I say a cry? Wait, it's coming. A cry may endure for the night. 
Wait is coming. So life of a Christian and a staunch believer. When I talk of the staunch believer, I mean those who believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of God. Ask a neighbor, are you a staunch believer? Are you a staunch believer? A staunch believer don't need a million dollars. A staunch believer needs faith. 